using our Pro X 500 SLS machine, so it's a, it's a powder when it starts. We're using a nylon powder and then it's laid down layer by layer and the laser fuses it together. This is the same material that's used in under the hood applications in automotive. It's used in uh, ducting in uh, aerospace, so like real actual parts that are on the aircraft. We printed it in the nylon material because um, it's really rigid, robust, and it's totally biocompatible and safe for uh, Gracia. And also it's very uh, rigid and rugged and will hold up to, uh, you know, a long time of use. Not only is it going to be functional, but uh, aesthetically, uh, the bird will look uh, like it's pierced. The shelter, um, they don't actually want to paint it because they want it as a reminder of what happened to this animal. So there were many challenges. There were material challenges. We could not use one of these materials to 3D print uh, Grecia's beak because the resolution is lower. So you could have bacteria start to uh, thrive within the, the groups of the 3D print. So the 3D, printed, 3D printing technology and material should be very smooth, like this, which has no hollows, no grooves, so that the beak never gets dirty while the, the bird is eating. Mm -hmm.